Hey Virgos, what's in store for your money and career life for September 2024? I'm going to dive in with the tarot and talk a little astrology and we will find out. So keep watching. So welcome to the channel, Virgo, or welcome back. So good to see you here. Let's get right into discussing the astrology for your money life in September 2024. Good news, you have Venus, the planet of money, in your second house until the 23rd, then she will go into Scorpio, your third house. So I'm gonna do a separate tarot reading for each one of these energies, okay? So Venus transiting your second house could bring some good money news, good money opportunities. Um, now, we have Venus conjunct the south node of endings, wrap up, and karma on September 4th. So it is possible that there's the payoff of a debt. There's some other money news that frees you from an obligation, some sort of wrap up. Now, it's possible there could be some change in an income source. Okay, it could be leaving one thing to start something else. Right, South Nodes is about elimination. Venus on the elimination point on sub around September 4th. You know, again, but it can be something like paying off a debt, paying off an obligation, wrapping up one financial cycle to start another. Your second house is also, of course, profoundly associated with your self-worth and self-esteem. So again, you could be ending one cycle where maybe things have been a little rough and you've been a little down on yourself and you're ready to start a new cycle of improvement. So let's pull some cards and see what you need to know first about Venus transiting through Libra, your second house of money, Virgo. Let's get a money message for the Virgo from when you're starting to watch this video until September 23rd. And then we'll do the next part, the next Venus energy. All right. We have the King of Coins and we have the Knight of Coins. Money is definitely on your mind. Shifting something. Yeah. Nine of Wands in your heart. King of Cups and Two of Cups. So you have been through a lot of emotional labor lately, a lot of physical labor, a lot of working hard for the money, as Donna Summer would sing. Um... Okay, so things are starting to turn around. There is a sincere offer, a sincere uh, deal, a sincere easing of the energies. I think something is going to start flowing, like your money is going to start flowing a little better. Of course, Venus transiting the second house of money. If things have been a little slow in manifesting, despite all of your best efforts, I mean, you have been working hard. Um, you're going to see a change. It's like somebody's going to be turning on the spigot of the energy, the water flow. Uh, of course, this is your energy. You have been bound and determined that you are going to do better with your finances. You're going to manifest more. You're going to be in charge of things. But the, the issue has been this night of coins, right? Things have been just very slowly changing. But I think changing for the better based on the outcomes that we have over here. You could be going through some sort of very important real estate negotiation, a negotiation for a new job, a raise, those types of things uh, with this energy happening here. Um, and you have such favorable energy with Venus in that second house of money that you could really negotiate a sweet deal for yourself. Now, I'm going to pull separate cards on career later in this video. But, uh, you know, you have you have a lot of goodwill, good energy here to negotiate a better settlement, a better situation, a raise. This is excellent. So this is not a time to give up. We've had this kind of similar message for Virgos coming through about hanging in there, not giving up. Um, so, yeah, you're a little weary. And I would suggest when you can, if you can take a little bit of a break, a couple days, it doesn't, it could just be like you actually do rest for a full weekend. You just kick back and rest. It doesn't have to be like, you know, a full week or something like that. But you do need a little bit of time to yourself. You have been through a lot, whatever you've got going on right now. But something is shifting for the better. There is goodwill. There is emotional renaissance. Resonance. That's the word I read. Resonance. Like the vibe is there for money flow. So we like this. This is very, very good. 
All right, now let's see what we need to know. I like to use a separate deck in case energy repeats. Let's ask this deck what you need to know about Venus in Scorpio, which is your third house of the mind and communications. Venus will be in that sign. We're just going to do it for the time period of the last week of September, the 23rd until the 30th, because then we'll save, save the, the next part of it for the October readings. All right, so the last week of the month, when Venus goes into your third house, of writing, speaking, teaching, networking, sales, but also your mind. So it could be you're, you're contemplating some big money moves, big money decisions. You could be spending money on, on those things, on marketing, on communications, maybe buying a computer. We're out of the Mercury retrograde shadow. So that's something you could be doing last week. Wow, look, the Two of Cups again. King of Swords energy. Nine of Pentacles, there's your energy in the heart. Notice how the heart also is another nine, but a better one. Ace of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So yeah, you're leaving behind. You have the very strong potential to leave behind uh, lack and slowness. Something is manifesting quickly. I feel, you know, the 23rd is right at the end of your birthday season into Libra season. We're talking about this last week in September. And we got the Libra here. So, you know, again, we're leading in with this Two of Cups, which was our last card from the ones we just pulled. Very interesting. And we go from a Nine of Wands in your heart to a Nine of Pentacles. So you are reaping the harvest. There is absolutely something you're negotiating, a contract, a deal. Um, third house, again, this could be something, yes, with your workplace. It's possible, like colleagues, groups of people, communications. Um, you're cut, you're, you're signing something, you're sealing a deal here, right? Contracts can be negotiated at this time. Third house is your mind. So you are making big decisions about your money life, about your life in general. Uh, there is a moving on here, which is interesting. This eight of cups showing up at the end here. So by the end of this month, I think you're you're heading in a new direction. You have new money goals. That's what these mountains are. New money goals that you are going to be uh, pursuing and also perceiving. I think you're going to be seeing them very clearly on the horizon. Um, you are feeling much more confident that things are in the process of changing. I do think, again, with this sort of triumph, this in your heart and also this, that there can be something offered to you that could be lucrative. There could be the cleanup of a bill, like I was saying before. There could be an offer of, you know, uh, some sort of job or buying your business or whatever, I mean, whatever you have going on. There are offer, there's an offer here. And there's also a severing, that is the Ace of Swords, a severing of something that has been heavy on your heart, Nine of Wands, because now your heart is more about, yes, I got this. I am bringing in the harvest. All right, let's switch to asking about career. I got the major arcanas from my bold and bodacious tarot deck. And let's get an energetic theme for your career, your work life. What is going on? And then I'll pull some tarots for clarification. Virgos, Virgos, what is going on? Let us see. Career, Virgos, Virgos. Let's take this one. Oh, we have your energy. Okay. So this is going to be important, an important month in terms of what you want of allowing yourself to shine your own light, since this is your energy, um, and keeping the faith, right? And knowing that it guiding yourself through by spirit, right? Walking your talk, allowing yourself to listen to your inner wise guides. You know, you will find the way through whatever career situations you have going on right now. Okay, so, you know, let's see what we have. You know, the money is money. Career is something else entirely, right? All right, so let's see. I mean, of course, you can earn money from your career, but we try to give, like, more general money messages because not everybody has a career or is working at this time. All right, I see all these upside down cards. What is going on here? Okay. All right, Virgos, let's see. What you need to know about your career with your energy... This could be a month where you need to make a big decision about a career related matter. And you're going to have to really tune in with yourself spiritually in terms of what is the right course of action for you. All right, let's see. Look, the nine of pentacles again. Wow. 
and the Knight of Cups and the Emperor and the Sun. Look at this gorgeousness and the wheel. So there is a very strong possibility that an opportunity of a lifetime could be headed your way. But just because that is so, is it really right? Is it a right fit for you? It may well be. It may well be. Uh, you know, you've got such beautiful energies that are showing up here. This, this is something I think manifesting for you where you're going to have the ability to call the shots a little bit more, have a little more independence and freedom in whatever it is you're doing. Again, we have goodwill. We have a lot of goodwill energy in this reading. We got the two of cups. We have this twice. We have this knight of cups, which is again, offerings and a goodwill and emotional freshness and change. We have the freaking sun card, which of course is happiness and success. Um, recognition also for your efforts. I mean, look at this golden yellow and look at the golden yellow here. I think there is something here of the sunshine of recognition with you, is your talents, especially whatever is unique to you, whatever, you know, because this is your energy. So whatever sets you apart from everybody else. Um, we have the wheel here, got the Gemini, the Jupiter, and that is in your 10th house of career right now. So there could be a very positive change on the horizon for you. Uh, in the month of September regarding your career. Sorry for the noise outside. Um, but again, like, is it, does it really fit and align for you spiritually? That's just, I think it will from these energies, this gorgeous energy here. Um, I think it's going to be lucrative because we have the nine of coins and we had the nine of coins before. But one of the things I think to ask yourself, because this is a general reading, is... Are you selling out, in quotes, can you still be authentically yourself and say yes to this opportunity? Okay, that is what I would ask myself with this. Um, but I mean, I think the important thing here is there is a lot of positive change on the horizon for you with this wheel and this sun. Very happy change, happy, lucrative changes that will be fitting you. I mean, how many times have you shown up in this reading with your energy, right? Like, <laughs> so it is your birthday month, happy birthday, but this is definitely a pivotal and critical month for you, 100% in saying yes to new opportunities um, and you're really feeling your personal power with the emperor in your heart here that is your eighth house of transformation. So this is time to step up and step into the spotlight that highlights your unique energy and power, especially when it comes to your career. So Virgos, leave me a comment and let me know how you plan on using these energies in the month of September. I would love to hear. Love you guys. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Wild, signing out.